On this week's episode of the Cowboy for Game podcast, we talk about how Bragg won at YCS Osaka, the new Nobleman card, and some Duel Links stuff. This is the Cowboy for Game podcast. <laughs> and I'm Lachlan. And today we're joined by Bragg. Yo. And Jake. Hello. Howdy. How are we doing, fellas? It's all backwards. <laughs> That's the complete oh, yeah. opposite it usually gets introduced, I think. Not too bad. We'll go on to how I went, how my week in Yu-Gi-Oh was a little bit later. Alrighty, Jake, how was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, so, I was a, I come, it was two weeks ago now, so we had a regionals uh, not too long ago, and um, I took a relatively new deck for me, well, somewhat, um, Pendulum What'd you take? August. Oh, awesome! And it was—it's so fun. It's Those orcas are so good in in oh, pendulums. It's, fucking, it's so good because the thing is, right? Like you go into your standard pendulum plays, and, you, and like it's a sixty card deck. So people see you doing things, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, just play sixty cards for the consistency." And then you do whatever pendulum board, whether it be interrupted or not. And then you go to summon nightmare mermaid, and they're like, "Wait, what? What's going on?" And then I set up another three negates, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Would you say that you put up four or five to gates every turn? <laughs> no, definitely not every turn. Um, no, yeah, I saw some of your deck. <laughs> it's got its moments of brilliance, and oh, then it's got yeah. moments of, oh, I lost a chain bone. <laughs> I didn't lose, lose, though, did I? You lost the first door. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you fucking stupid. <laughs> Alrighty, um, so, uh, YCS Osaka. Yeah, um, look, so, there was a raffle for registration, because, uh, the event was always going to hit its cap of 3,000 players, Yeah. and so for them to do a 3,000 player one, it's, uh, best of one, and 25 minute rounds, I believe. Damn. Um, I was, like, I didn't win my entry in the raffle, um. That's rough. And- and then also, and on the, on the day, so like they had, they would have, would have had side events and stuff. And on the day, I completely forgot and got my train back to uh, Tokyo. <laughs> uh, everything was meant to lay out. Like uh, my partner was meant to. Britt, who's asleep over there, snoring up a storm. I'm not snoring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's um, something a snoring person would say. She was meant to go to um, she was going to go to a castle, and I was going to go to uh, YCS, but then. She skipped the castle, so then I like I completely, completely slipped my mind that we were going to be putting our stuff somewhere and then heading off. But now we all headed back and whatever. But I followed some of it on um, on the old interwebs, and yep. my God, what a shit fight! Uh, look, it's shaping up for what our meta is probably going to shape up, right? It's uh, Mystic Mine everywhere. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> yeah, so, oh no! Like, we we had been avoiding talking about like um, the OCG results recently, more just their ban list and stuff, and like we hadn't really looked at in the, like a month or two. And mm. the last two, like everything leading up to this, has been pointing to Mystic Mind is really good or just control. So 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 since Mystic Mind's there to counter, you know, more aggressive decks, then your control deck of Subterra um, uh, shines, and that's what won the event. Good old yeah. Subterras. Um, let me Fucking Subterras won. Yep, Subterras won. Once is Guru won. that good? Guru is not good. It's the stuff around Guru. It's yeah. like well, it's like a lot of the top decks at the moment. They only need one card to pop off. Like field card gets Guru. Guru gets hand trap. Fiendess. Said another fucking other three floodgates and or strikes and shit. Like it's fucking debilitating. Shit. Yeah. It's um like it it had Necro Valley going for it too. It was pretty dumb. Uh, old, uh Mystic Mind Altergeist came second. Mystic Mind Altergeist. Fucking no. Yeah. I just realised that I don't want to live. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Fucking my two most hated decks. <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> You know, you fucking know Lewis is going to play it. <laughs> 100%. I think he's already said that people will start playing it in Altergeist. 
That's disgusting, and I disapprove. Oh, I, um, I hate it so much. This is and this thing I can, but these decks were like meant to like are uh, uh, made for this uh, form, like that format of one jewel wins the game. <laughs> Um, oh, that's you know a, yeah, what would I do that's well. Something I didn't take into account is that, like, in that kind of setting where you need to win in order, like, just that one game, that those kind of decks would rise to the top because you side for those kinds of decks here. Yeah, and that's so what I'm, it is. I was about to say yeah. that I think Loz's deck, the Grand Maju, that would do well. Yeah, in yeah, that would a no well. side tourney. Yeah, because like you don't main anything to out that kind of deck. No, yeah. Which I mean, but then you know, Salmon Grace really should be going into that, into that thing with you know, Twin Twisters maxed and whatever, whatever else. Like every other spell and trap removal, like in preparation. But I guess then takes a little bit it's... away from consistency. Yeah, and the I'm thing not is sure like... how serious they consider YCS here. Um, I'm. What, a three thousand event, a uh, three thousand person event, and you don't reckon they take it that seriously? I I think they take it seriously, but it's pr I mean, but it's also hard to take a, a, a event seriously where it's only one jewel with like decides. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So people there to try and um, cash in, get some get some prizes, but I don't think anyone would be looking at that and going, oh, that's so that's... not going. This is defining. Oh, I suppose Black Wings won that last year, didn't it? Oh yeah. Fucking Black Wings. <laughs> But, I mean, Missing One's still floating around there. I mean, Orcus and Salmon are uh, still having a show. Oh, another, uh, and uh, speaking of weird decks getting through, uh, Raid Raptors top as well. Top thing. <laughs> I've always we've, said it. Check the record. <laughs> I've always said Raid Raptors were good. So, yeah. All it takes is a, a dumb field spell and metaverse. And then you're off to the races. You're Jeez, off it's, to um, the races. So... <sighs> Do we see this type of stuff translating the TCG? To an extent, like I think variants of ban lists and like different card releases probably speak to it a lot. I think it's also there's something to be said. I believe in uh, at least in Australia because I can't speak on playing Yu-Gi-Oh in other countries as I've never done it. Um, but in Australia. It, the good players play the good decks, if that makes sense. Like, you don't... Well, you say this. Would you disagree? Mm, like, uh, on the whole, yes. But then you also have the record that Bowden did top several events with FTKs. FTKs that were, like, soon thereafter banned. Yeah, well, most FTKs get banned. The only one that hasn't been out and out banned is Gemini, and that's only because it's very inconsistent. That's what I'm saying. He played a good deck. Like, he, they, like the, the good players in Australia play either what is meta or what is proven. Yeah, but I think the argument then goes that, like, Mystic Mind is proving itself to be a meta meta relevant deck yeah for sure a few different things no so, no no what I'm I'm saying I'm not just talking about like Mystic Mind I'm saying like Raid Raptors isn't going to top over here oh I suppose like because oh, just Mystic how the Mind game's Raptors. played over here like there's yeah. a lot more of an emphasis on meta I believe than what yeah. I know of in Japan so, I mean, this could be, like, I mean, so I, I mean, I assume they're a good player. They topped a 3,000, but, like, this could be, like, a, a good player. Don't know. I didn't read the name of the person. This could be a good player going, hey, this is a 3,000-person fuck-around event, which is best of one. I'll play Ray Raptors, which can win a game one. A yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, mm. yeah, they pick that up, take it in, like, I mean, and you'll probably see them next Sunday playing, you know, Salomon Greats or Orcus. Mm. Yeah, and, yeah, I suppose... In that type of event where you do just have the one game, playing something that people won't be a won't be expecting is probably like in itself a meta choice. If, if that's I the right guess, way to but say. at the same time, it's like it's meta for a reason. Like yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And look, 
I suppose Cardpool, again, comes into it in that Ray Raptors over there have a link, so they make more plays than what our version of Raid Raptors would. The Raid Raptor link is very good. Yeah, it's kind of busted. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so if we're done with that... Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, card shops here, pretty damn cool. Um, uh, their singles are kind of going up a little bit in price lately, and they're also buying it. Like, they're... It's... Their Ghost Girl hand traps are fairly similar to ours. Well, yeah. I was like having, having a geese. Um, there's like people doing lottery ones, like where you try and get a like a the new pot card, which is names escaping me because extravagance. Um, that's the one. Um, yeah, like you it, that's that, such a good card. That like uh, buddy uh, uh, none. And uh, the other one would be like, his alternative dragon. I watched a I watched a guy do the lottery thing, and then came out not lottery, like a little. It wasn't a claw game. It was like a vending machine. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, but pretty much end up with a blue eyes alternative. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. Yeah, and it looks like everything else but that is a good thing. So I guess it's just you know rigged to be alternative dragons. Also, it's like a claw. I can actually no. I was going okay claw machines. Got so many Pokemon things. But this isn't the Pokemon podcast, so we'll move on. Yeah, Pokey keep pod. it. Alrighty. Keep digital monsters to themselves. Moving on. In a product Wait, this week, we have a structure deck. Rocket Revolt. I'm so yeah. beyond... Um, uh, the Wait, what official what page doing? says it's... Pro- Rocket Revolt prioritizes Link Summoning, but can also make use of Fusion Summoning with a new spell that destroys its oh, Fusion what? materials instead of sending them to the graveyard. You can expand mm-hmm. the deck's capabilities to include Synchro and XYZ Summoning with cards from Savage Strike, Dark Neo Storm, and Rising Rampage. Or you can just enjoy the six-card extra deck. All right, thanks, Konami. <laughs> Jesus. Um, wait, didn't you like Rockets at one point? Jay? Me? Yeah, I did. Um, I, to be fair, I liked them most when they were their least consistent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, back when Scapegoat was at three, so, like, Scapegoat was a win con in every deck. It was more so in the deck where, like, Borrow actually targeted something other than an opponent's monster. Mm. That um, was when I had the most fun with that deck. Probably only main thing from this. I mean, they could give, like... I haven't seen the OCG rocket monsters to comment on this. They could give them, you know, some good shit. But this has a borrow load reprint, so that's it. That's okay. Yeah, that borrow load reprint's going to be uh, pretty big. Is um, there a... not that much, isn't it, at the moment, is he? It's like 30 bucks. No, 30, 40 bucks, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Borrel Savage is around 90 at the moment, but it was hovering, like, between sort of 75 and 80 for a little while. But it's sort of climbing back up in price now. It's getting close to um, sort of Nats and Oceanic season. Yeah. I'm um, just looking at that. That's the TCG one. Damn you. Why wouldn't it say what is based off? Here we go. Structure Deck Rocket Revolver. Scroll down to the galleries. Da-da-da. Break down galleries. Lists. Lists. No, lists will do. Oh, we don't know anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, they haven't actually uh, yeah, wow. told us what it does yet. Um, but we do know what the monsters do. Well, I know what the fucking um, topologic link does. Ah, uh, and... yeah, Zavaros. Yeah. Is, is it is that rubbish? Um, it seems kind of good. Um, but you can also special is, I don't know. monsters to an extra monster zone. This card points to um, it's arrows are top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Okay. Oh, is that how it reads you? to the extra monster zone? Ooh. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> I was trying uh, to understand it because no, because I thought it meant like to a zone it points to in general. But then, like when I was watching replays of it, everyone was special summoning to like its down arrows. I'm like, I, just, I didn't think you could do that. But oh, this is kind of cute. If another monster is special summoned to a zone, link monster points to while this monster is on the field, banish all cards on the field. Once per turn during your standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished by its own effect, special summon this card. Yeah, it's topologic metaphors. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's cute enough. Apparently, apparently in the OCG you can make it work in Metaphys, but not here, because we don't have Needle Harbor. You... Fucking, can we just never get needle, needle, needle fiber? There you go, I got it on the third try. <laughs> <laughs> like, now that what's the face is bent, it's not even that bad, eh? Surely they're going to slip it into bloody uh, the the relevant set coming up. It'll be in uh, Battle of the Legend for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's there's probably enough to sell it in that, but they have been like like loading up, especially when they just do short printing stuff. Oh, jerks. Oh, uh, so. Oh, here we go. Speed duels. Yeah, I'm duels. fucking speed excited. Duels. Speed duels, speed duels. Oh, what are the. Um. So, we're getting <laughs> new booster packs. Yeah, so this is one, the one after the next one, yeah? The, Wait, the, okay, yep. We're getting starter decks. <laughs> No, no, as in as in this pack, like. The, oh, okay. Then yeah, we're getting booster packs. Is definitely not the next one, which is based off Mako. This is another one after that. No, this one's Bandit Keith. Yep, and guess what? Was well, Bandit Keith? Wait, what? No. Yeah, fuck, here we go. Do you want me to read the thing? <laughs> no, I got it. Ah, oh, here we go. Wait, which one? The, the Scars of Battle. Yeah, so Scars of Battle, pretty fucking cool. So, we're getting 45 new to speed dual cards and 5 new skill cards. Um, yeah. The uh, skill cards we're getting are... Servants of the Fallen King. Wait, no, you read it. <laughs> <laughs> My brain no work. Uh, so, Bones, uh, one of the skills will be Bones' new skill, uh, which will be based off... Uh, so, uh, so, Servants of the Fallen King uh, loads up the graveyard with zombies, so they can rise again thanks to cards like Book of Life. So, there you go, Bones is going to get Book of Life. Um, that's pretty silly. And this uh, next okay. one's pretty big. Uh, well, <laughs> Double Evolution Pill? Yes! Rex Raptor isn't known for his complex combos, giant dinosaurs, Double Evolution Pill... Rex summon quickly, massive dinosaur, so we can get right out of business. We'll cover that because Rex has been announced in the starter deck. Uh, ben and Keith gets uh, Nightmarish Machines, Terrorize Opponents, uh, Metal Morph, and Battle Drake. Uh, oh, wow. Metal Morph, I used to love that card. Yeah, Metal Morph's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be relevant. Like, that's, it's pretty crazy. Battle Dragon's pretty good. Yeah, well, um, in Dueling's. I'm pretty sure Barrel Dragon was kind of handy for a little bit. Um, correct me in the comments. But, I mean, look, there's monster destruction in this format is few and far between. But getting it out actually would be pretty rubbish. Unless mm. if it's a dragon. No, it's a machine. <laughs> Imagine uh, fucking putting that in Kaiba with Dragon Claw. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Night Beam for more spell and trap destruction. Dark Red Enchanter, uh, Dark Red Enchanter for um, uh, gains power for every spell you play. That's right, that's the spell thing. And Mask of Darkness to get back traps, which is kind of rubbish. Um, and yeah, so thirty-four commons, eight super rares, and eight ultra rares. Uh, they've really got to fix this, the packs, I reckon. Like that, as soon as you've opened a few packs, it, it, it's trash. It's like old school Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> mm, I remember it's... those days. Um, that's always trash, right? And then that's... the starter decks. Yeah, so the starter decks, we're getting a uh, Rex Raptor and Weevil Underwood, two of the most Boy. notorious rivals from Yu-Gi-Oh, have arrived to <laughs> speed duel. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it. Oh, wow, why did you chunk it? those out so much? He does. Yo. It is legitimately. It it does say, rivals from Yu-Gi-Oh, have arrived to speed duel. Yeah, I understand that. That's not the thing that I take issue no, with. Yeah, you went Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I was. They've got a fucking 
They've got the end of a sentence and an exclamation mark followed up by a comma. But that's that's how. That's no. How... Com the exclamation mark has a full stop in it. You can't comma after it. The okay, exclamation yes. mark is how is the is the logo of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's how it's trademarked. Also, that's still not the thing that we're taking issue with. I'm cutting this. <laughs> <laughs> Psych. I'm not editing. Um. Alrighty. <laughs> Speed Duel Starter Packs Ultimate Predators contain two ready-to-duel Speed Duel decks, including two ultra-rare variant cards specifically chosen to boost each strategy. Each character in Speed Duel Starter Decks Ultimate Predators comes with 30 cards and two brand new skill cards. Players oh, will be 30. able to adjust their decks depending on which school they want to... I was doing so well. On which skill they want to use with their character, letting you customize your strategy right out the box. Um, Konami, ring me up for your ad reads. 30, 30 cards mm -hmm. is actually kind of crazy. Yeah, it's pretty banging. That's, so yeah, I, I'm like going 20 and you have to, or at least like it's 30 cards and then yeah, you can thin it down to 20 and then obviously you put one by doubles. I, mm. They did have, they said that there's only two skill cards per character, which is a, a downgrade, but... If they, to be fair, cards, the main deck, it's, okay. it's pretty apparent which skill card is best, like for the yeah. deck. A lot of the time. Um, so, cards they announce in this. Uh, da, 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 uh, Nightmare Sonic Blast. Uh, unlocks the true potential. Ah, oh, so that's... Um, Serpent yeah. Night Dragon. Yeah, so mm. Serpent Night Dragons. Yo, what? They're bringing fucking... Oh, that's banging. They're bringing uh, Hidden Parasite, Hyper Metamorphosis, and... Perfectly ultimate Great Moth. I know what deck I'm playing yeah. in Speed Duels. Bones. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. It will be pretty banging. Uh, get the bug so spray out. Do we have that, yeah? That oh, that was in that, um... No, not Metamorphosis. I want Hyper Metamorphosis. I did say Hyper Metamorphosis. Yeah, no, that's no, like, I'm, like, I'm just trying to Google it. I want fucking... Does Hyper Metamorphosis even exist? I think so. Is it maybe not yeah. called that here? Or is it hyphenated? No, it's not hyphenated. Uh, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Oh, so what the fuck's half a metamorphosis then? It's what it was called originally, I believe. Oh, okay, so it's just not translated. Tribute probably. one insect monster from either field equipped with an equip card, and if you do, special summon yeah. one insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one insect monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, then draw a card. You can only use this effective cocoon of Ultra Evolution once per turn. What a fuck up by fucking Konami to put the wrong name onto the thing. Give us metamorphosis. Because this is clearly what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that's so weird. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Like, like what the hell? I mean, I just wanted to be a metamorphosis reprint. Give us Jules Metamorphosis. Because he can use oh. Speed Duel cards in... Yeah. Not Speed Duel events. Yeah. Gib. Gib. Just Gib. Don't really Gib it a suck. Oh. <laughs> um. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look. The, uh, metamorph the Metamorphosis uh, artwork doesn't have teeth, right? Huh? The, me the artwork of Metamorphosis doesn't have teeth, yeah? Is that the no, fucking, like, poorly drawn T-Rex? No, 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 he, no, he has, he has, he has, uh, teeth. Never mind. Disregard. Don't give him suck. What the fuck? Where is that? Th I don't want to go and suck off that thing. <laughs> that thing will clean bite your dick off. Look, I thought the face was just a, a face. I thought it was like doughy. Move on. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to remind you that Cowboy for Game is the best, uh, most family-friendly Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast on the internet. That was never the case. <laughs> what no, do you mean? We tried to not swear no one once. No one has ever made that claim before. We made it or two times. minutes in. like five times. We're we are the, the best. best. We've never been the family-friendliest. Uh, we got the Rising Rampage sneak peek July 20th through July 21st. So that's a little bit earlier, because that means it's a week after. 
that's like the start of May instead of the first week of May, right? Uh, fucking August. It's in July. Yeah, so but then but then a, but then a week after that is the release of the set, so that's August. Isn't that how it usually is? Is isn't it like a week in um, August usually? Like we get that we used to get the sneak peek at the end of July and then the pack at the end of the first week of August. Let's have a look. Let's have a gaze. I don't know. <laughs> More recently, it's been like the pre-releases on the Sunday, and then the set comes out the that Thursday. Cause I can swear the like the new starter decks used to come on like the twentieth of July. Now there's gonna be a fucking sneak peek on it. I'm okay with this. Okay. Sneak peeks are cool. I like sneak peeks when the set's not dedicated to fucking old archetype support. Yeah. What was last? What was the last August pack? Bosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I just said the first name that came to my head. It would have been the one after um, Circuit Break. So what was that? Uh, Raging Tempest. Shut up. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Am I wrong? That was an actual guess. No. Raging Tempest was when like had fucking um, Zodiac in it. Oh, wait, no, I mean Rising Tempo, or... <laughs> Rising Tempo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just Horizon. forgot. Yeah, that would, that would make sense. Southern Horizon. Da -da 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 -da. God, what a set. What a set. I have so many cyber web systems from that. Oh, no, I stand corrected. It was the end of July. See? Madness. Madness, I tell you. He's done a madness. Yeah. Um, yeah, so are we going to go to the sneak peek, Bragg? No. <laughs> Jake? Right, maybe. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm on actually. I probably would have hit my goal if I could go by then, so I've got to start playing again. Or Execute order, sneaky peek. <laughs> 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 Best Star Wars reference. <laughs> um, <Sneaky pick. laughs> we got a new nobleman coming out. Yeah, well, well, we... well do we? <laughs> well, uh, in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, there is a new nobleman entering the, the fray. Yu-Gi-Oh. In uh, in July, V Jump promo. Uh, <laughs> oh, July. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this card, Cross Out Designator. It's a quick play spell card. You can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn. Uh, Jake, would you like to guess what this card does? It wouldn't be a guess, I'd just read it. So, would you like to read it or would you like me to read it? Alrighty, <laughs> Jake doesn't want to do the bit. Alrighty, declare one card name. Banish this card from your deck. <laughs> Banish that card from your deck. And if you do, until the end of your turn, its effects are negated, as well as the activated effects and... Effects on the field, as well as the activated effects and effects on the field of cards with the same original effect. Note the okay. Japanese text for the negation clause is worded very similarly to "Called by the Grave," which at first wasn't very clear on how it functioned. Versus certain effects, it's possible that the negation may be slightly different once we get rulings for the card. Thank you, you go, you go organization. Yes, thank you. Um. Who owns what your organization? Isn't it fucking... Wait, no. Um, alrighty, so what do we think about this card? It'll be very good in mirror matches and in matches where decks can just play a card solely for this purpose to neg opponents. A.K.A. It's, Mondain. It's kind of like a main deck Ghost Reaper. Yeah. Sort of. That's kind of cool. Um, it's, I mean, I just thought it was more of, it just gives you an advantage. So, you know, if you didn't draw the card that they're playing, like, say, uh, uh, Salomon Greats with fucking, I don't know, Gazelle. So they go, Gazelle, you go, nah. <laughs> like, nah, fam, nah. <laughs> It's cute shit like that. Oh, I mean, you can even chain this to... 
if, if you get uh, Ash Blossom, right? Yeah. 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 I do like the fact that you have to sort of give something up to use it. Like, yeah. like according to the people who thought Desires was a Neg 9, this is a Neg 2. Um, but... Well... Well, we... no, not really, because you only have to declare the card name as cost, so if they neg it, you don't have to banish. What? what? Oh, yeah. The declaration yeah, of the card is cost, so you're not yeah. losing anything until it resolves, in which case you've done what you need to do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so then it's not like, it's not an extreme neg, I'm like, you know, desires where if it gets negated, then you have to banish so that, that. This case, you flip that and they go, I don't know, magic jammer or some dumb shit. Ah. Uh, you wouldn't neg, which is kind of cute. But I mean... Yes, as you said, those people that said neg nine will go. Oh, you got to you got to banish one from your deck. You're losing. But nah, it's it's a it's a one for one. It's really good. Shout out B team. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Yeah, this is a pretty that's good card. I mean, every side deck, I guess. Yeah, this is yeah. like a mandatory. Every every side deck should play this. It's just good. Unless you're playing cards that no one else plays, and then probably not. <laughs> I oh, mean, could you, you just to. could you play? Let's say like Ash, and they chain this, right? Yeah. Where is it? Let me find it again. I lost it. They call by the grave, and you chain this, and then gate them by the grave by calling call by the grave. Or they chain it, and then <laughs> you chain it, <laughs> calling their one. <laughs> And they've already played it, so they can't play it to negate your one. They all, they all get negated. Yeah, I was going to say, it negates itself. So? It would also negate <laughs> theirs. Wait, if it negates itself, does theirs go through? Oh, brain <laughs> Because it's negating... Wait, what? It can't negate itself. <laughs> the effect would resolve before it negates. What? Yeah, no, I'm right. The resolution of the effect is that it negates cards of that name. Yes. So Maybe it's already I, resolved, so it can't I'll, yeah. it can't I'll negate feel, itself. I feel like This is one of those times I'm right, but people just talk to me like I'm wrong. No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, like Thomas Quirty, you fucking moron. Stop this. <laughs> it's not my you fault. Worded, you worded it fucking terrible, so also the fucking pelicans live nowhere else. Listen, there are no pelicans in Egypt until I see one. Any photos are photoshopped. Don't try and use your limited access to the world around you as an excuse for stupidity. I never saw a pelican in Brisbane either. You were the pelican in Brisbane. <laughs> I imagine that's the sound they make. <laughs> the way you're talking about them, it's like you've not seen a pelican at all. Pelican, the grand consumer. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Alrighty, lads, I've got a... Wait, do I? Do you? Uh, you no, I looked one up, but I'm starting to think maybe we've done it before. Oh, let's, let's give it a go. Opinions change. Would hypnotizing your opponent be against Yu-Gi-Oh tournament rules? <laughs> this is brought to you by Thunderforge. Well, and the name works for you. Oh my god, you're already doing better than me. Um, uh, I like to explain that this is not a Yahoo Gio. This is a Stack Exchange Yo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um, but yeah, I so. Like I like this. Um, he, he, he then further uh, explains, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! In the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 d anime episodes, Return to the Spirit World, Part 1 and Part 2, oh. he links both, Professor Frank hypnotizes his opponent Luna during a Duel Monsters tournament oh. duel. I knew, in, this, I knew this is where it was going. In like, addition to having an ulterior motive of letting her access repressed memories, 
He uses that hypnotic influence to get Luna to play her cards in a certain way that benefits him. In the real world, would it be against the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament rules to hypnotize your opponent during a tournament duel in order to get them play tactically in your favor? Is there any rule that would actually prevent this? Or would it be a matter of the judge using his discretion to call out bad sportsmanship? Yeah, he then further... <laughs> he further clarifies... I'm not expecting a rule that says you cannot hypnotize your opponents, but I'm instead wondering if there might be a rule that covers this sort of behavior. <laughs> like perhaps one that says you can't interfere with your opponent's decision making. Uh, um, and then he, then he says, I bet there's no rule against a dog playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 and then someone that followed that up by one. saying on the internet, no one knows you're a dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's nothing in the room. Uh, oh, the right. is the strange what have we got? Place. What have we got, fellas? Um, okay, so I mean, the sportsmanship thing is probably the what it could fall under. Also, I mean, you your opponent can't concede. Like you can't do bribes, and you can't like your opponent can't concede. Nah, I'm sure that they could construe something out of like. The, the Can I stuff. speak as someone who has been hypnotized? Oh, when does the wear off? One, well, it, here's the thing about being hypnotized, right? Is, you know what's happening. You're just in such a calmed state that you lose inhibition. Like, you know what's happening. It's your choice to do it, but it calms you down to the point where you, like, you lose inhibitions. You're not too worried about, like, what's going to happen and stuff. Is so, it just really, like, super suggestive? What makes you suggest it? It makes you suggestive, but a hip, like a hypnotist can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. Like if you truly don't want to do it, they can't make you. Just like so, give them, give them some beer. In saying that, get them drunk. In saying that, I think it's fine to hypnotize your opponent. No, <laughs> because no. you can't one. They cannot be... Most people who want to get hypnotized can't be hypnotized. Like, you essentially have to want to be hypnotized to be hypnotized. So, if they allow you to hypnotize them, they know what they're doing. Oh, okay. So, I think it's fine. Um... That's the I'm thing. Gonna, I'm going to go with a flat no, because also that episode sucked. It like, <laughs> like, I, like I remember clearly when I watched that episode and it still makes me angry to this day like I think about it at least every few weeks <laughs> <laughs> like I'll see um, if, I, if I see a Regulus around in my fucking in, like, in my um, in my cards or like yeah I see a lion like or anything like I will generally think back to that fucking piece of shit episode <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell you've Are like you? carried a lifelong grudge yes. against a fucking episode of a cartoon it's it's and it goes for two parts it's and yeah it's and that's thing and it is dumb <laughs> <laughs> you picked a doozy of a Yahoogie after this week really it was a funny enough question the... I just ruined it um so the top answer Yep. Is, um, the guy starts off by saying, "I'm not a lawyer." Uh, <laughs> 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 he goes from a link on the page. Uh, whatever penalties are carried out in the event of rule violations. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Bribery involving money, cards, or any other means is total disqualification. So, hypnotism is like bribery and that the fact you're bribing yeah, them with a calmed mind like, state. Um, he then says, hypnotizing your opponent will most likely be considered the type of match fixing, leading to a disqualification or a total disqualification. Additionally, note the verbiage I bolded at the top, which I skipped. Uh, judges are given broad authority to exercise their own judgment in determining misconduct. 
The fact that there's no rule against hypnotism would not prevent any competent judge from slapping the misbehaving player with a heavy punishment. Now, However. if However. the judge was hypnotized too... Yes. This is <laughs> Alrighty. Um, and on that note, if no one else has some anything to say... Pelicans no. live everywhere. Bragg, thank you for joining us from across the great beyond. Yes. Uh, Jake? Uh, Sayonara. Ha howdy. I'm and going to bread. We're... Uh, Ohio Gazayamas. Ohio Gazayamas Sumimasen. I said Ohio Gazayamas.